Today we have got something groundbreaking news that will shake up the virtualization world. VMware Workstation Pro is now free for all users. Yes, you hear that right. In this video, I'll explain why VMware made this move, how Broadcom's acquisition might have influenced it, how to download and install VMware Workstation Pro and the key benefit of using this amazing tool. Let's dive in. Welcome back to IT Samurai Teacher. My name is Shihabdul. So what exactly happened? VMware recently announced that both VMware Workstation and VMware Fusion have transitioned away from their paid subscription model. That means they are now completely free for personal and commercial use. This includes VMware Workstation Pro, which was previously only available as a paid product. This change was effectively middle as November 2024. So, why did VMware make this move? Well, one of the reasons could be the Broadcom's recent acquisition of VMware. Broadcom has been restructuring VMware's offering to better align with the market demands and customer expectations. Making VMware Workstation Pro free could be a strategic move to attract more users, more customers into the VMware ecosystem. Yeah, sometimes people will get confused, right? Yes, VMware Workstation Pro is now 100% free. You no longer need to purchase a license or pay subscription fee. VMware made this clear in their official blog post. I will put that blog post down on my description. So this is a big deal because Workstation Pro is one of the most powerful desktop virtualization tools out there, allowing you to run multiple operating system on a single machine. Uh, previously, I have to purchase license. Uh, so now it's totally free. That's awesome, right? All right, let's walk you through how to download VMware Workstation Pro. Now, first of all, normally if you go to vmware.com, they have a button called Download Fusion or Workstation. Normally, that's how it goes, right? So normally when you click that one, uh, VMware, go to the VMware website and download. Now it's totally different because of the Broadcom acquisition happened. It will redirect to Broadcom website for the downloading page. Now when you click that, you don't see this, uh, this screen. Probably you need to sign up and sign in. So now Broadcom don't let you download any VMware Workstation product without signing in a Broadcom account. So probably you need to sign up an account and sign in. So once you sign in, you will go to a dashboard and go to the My Download section and go all the way down or type it here, VMware Workstation Pro or VMware Fusion and uh, you will get like this uh, screen. Uh, it takes some time uh, Broadcom to pop up. I'm not sure why, but a little bit slow. So you can see 15, 16, 17 version for Linux and Windows. Use the proper version for you. If you want to install for Linux, go for the Linux. Or if you want to download for the Windows, download for the Windows. I'm using Windows 11, so I'm going to click Windows 11. Now you will see uh, versions like 17. Dot zero zero to seventeen dot six dot one. Now, but up to date today is November two thousand twenty four. It uh, the version is seventeen dot six dot one. So probably you will get a different version if move forward. Now, once I click the latest version, you will jump again to downloading area. In here, normally you will see like this, and you need to click this arrow button. Can see the release version here and VMware Workstation Pro for Windows, and you can see the size of this uh, file, and you will get a, a nice uh, cloud icon HTTPS download. Now, just in case if you don't see this button or maybe the gray out, like you cannot click that, 
probably in the page somewhere there's a message pop up to confirm click that op button uh, and confirm then this button will be available probably you need to refresh so once you click this it's going to download from the back end uh, 447.93 MB file now I'm not going to show you how to install because it's going to be very easy I already installed what you need to do is just double click the file and proceed the uh, page welcome page and the only option you need to uh, be aware that when you ask you to enter the serial number you don't need to serial number because this is everything is free so you just choose you don't have the key so proceed with that and install it probably you need to reboot your Linux or Windows machine and open your Vimeo Workstation Pro that's everything you need to do and I'm going to show you something I'm going to open the Vimeo Workstation Pro okay now you can see I open my Vimeo Workstation Pro and uh, it's up and running uh, you can see I running so many OS Windows, Tails, Kali Linux, Parrot OS, Windows uh, 11 so everything there so uh, so what are the key benefits of VMware Workstation? Number one is multi OS support as you can see run multiple operating system like Windows, Linux, even Mac OS and single machine high performance Workstation Pro is optimized for high performance ensuring your virtual machines run smoothly with advanced 3d graphics and support for the latest hardware number three snapshot features normally snapshot features are you can see here in snapshot features you can go back again like uh, take a snapshot in a fresh windows environment after you do, do all the installation for windows uh, applications if you want to go back you can revert back again uh, number four network options you can simulate complex networks for testing with advanced networking number five is cross compatibility uh, easily transfer virtual machines between VMware workstation with VMware vSapphire and other VMware products that's awesome so VMware workstation pro free right so making VMware workstation pro free democratize access to one of the best virtualization tools in the industry this is a game changer for students developers IT professionals especially for small business owners like you uh, so who want enterprise grade virtualization without the cost so totally free so there you have it everything you need to know about VMware workstation pro now being free if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to IT Samurai teacher for more tech insights and tutorials so leave a comment below if you are excited about this change or if you have any questions thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video